What's up, Flappers? Welcome back to another video. And here lay before you is someone that I feel like has went from the best thing that ever was in Genshin Impact to somewhat uh, more of a supportive role now, right? Even though back then everybody was like my one true queen. And even today, I think some people still hold her in very high regards. But, you know, it just doesn't feel the same as back in patch 1.0. Of course, with all these new characters, five stars, four stars, people have their new shiny toys to play around with and of course with that the older ones tend to just fade into oblivion however if you guys have noticed fisher is one of those characters that it doesn't matter when or in what patch you bring her up people always have good things to say about her and it's not until recently during account reviews that I've seen a lot of newer players have been entering this game. They're trying to figure things out with the limited resource that they have. And it really reminded me of when I first started out in Genshin Impact and that feeling of having very few resources and you want to make the best choice you can to clear the end game as fast as possible so you can be relevant in discussions, in discords or whatever, right? It's just most people nowadays, they talk about either their dedication to certain waifus or they're talking about uh, wacky teams that they're building for Abyss. And if you're part of any community, you want to try and fit in and a lot of these people they're not fitting in because they haven't been able to clear the abyss so let me remind you guys how insane of a character Fischl is yes today we're going to be looking at the one the only machine gun Fischl and how she still stacks up in the current state of Genshin Impact patch 2.5 all right so getting straight into it this is the team i'm gonna be running and unfortunately there is very little you can do to this team to make it still work all right what i mean is there's very little room for alterations yes you could switch out jong lee for someone like diona however you do lose out on that double geo in return you get heals so survivability wise it's around the same and one of the reasons why i really would prefer people People to have the double geo is mainly because not only do you have additional strength for shield you also have damage dealt increased by 15 percent and of course dealing damage to enemies will decrease their geo resistance by 20 percent for 15 seconds which means albedo's elemental skill is just gonna do that much more damage right all this is good this is good stuff all right people if you can run the double geo with Zhongli and albedo it's great if you don't have Zhongli, you can try to use some like noelle as well she can work that's another good thing about noelle she's flexible in many roles however the two units that cannot be replaced from this team well i guess three if you count Fischl, but the two are going to be shinchu and albedo and i'll talk a little bit about this later as i show some footage on screen so so the whole philosophy behind this team is uh, think of it like a uh, layered cake all right think of it like a layered cake you got your Fischl as the base flavor and then on top of that you got shinchu as your mixed flavor here and he's going to provide a good chunk of damage and of course you got albedo who who is your neutral balanced flavor in the team now combine these three characters together I, i'm telling you guys the amount of numbers that just pop up on screen you're gonna have electro charge you're gonna have crystallize you're gonna have white damage blue damage yellow damage it all just melds together in this wonderful wonderful thing that that the people call machine gun official for free to play players yes you guys are probably scratching your head like well you know I, I don't have albedo that's unfortunate right albedo is actually the core of a lot of these layer damage teams he's also a great helper to someone like hu tao nowadays who doesn't even need to bring a healer same concept with Fischl when Fischl gets c4 she's able to heal just by using her burst on top of xing chu's healing and on top of double geo shield Thing, you're not gonna die and you'll see in the footage that Fischl is never at any point in this run close to dying and remember she's a character with 11,000 HP that's squishier than anyone you can think of and to add more to how powerful this is my Fischl is ascension for level 70 using very basic artifacts right nothing crazy here look at these stats people look at these stats 58 182 you, you're gonna say my Fischl is like stacked and cracked no in fact she's heavily under geared for this content but it just comes to show that's how powerful this comp is 70 70 70 90 for Zhongli and of course Fischl c6 yes 
that's probably like the most pay to win aspect but yeah i'm pretty sure even free to plays right now have at least c2 to c4 official and you really only need her up to c4 now abedo c0 chinchu c6 and Zhongli C4. Really, Zhongli C0 is fine. You're not needing him for like the extra CC. You don't really need this. These are all just quality of life things to have. So the whole concept behind this team, like I said, is layering damage all onto Fischl. And as you can see, even against the mechanical array, a, a boss with high physical resistance, you're treading him relatively quickly. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys 36 star the abyss with this team uh, with all level 70s and like subpar investments. But I'm telling you, if you want a surefire safe way to just stand and fight and grind your way through abyss this team if you have albedo trust me it's as easy as it's gonna get for anybody you can close your eyes and beat the abyss as long as you know the rotation you remember how long roughly to reapply Zhongli shield drop albedo's e shin chu's burst it's very simple now before we go any further i do want to share with you guys a little drawback with this team and of course as you guys may have noticed it's the setup time let's take a look right you not only need to apply Zhongli's elemental skill you need to apply albedo's elemental skill then you need to use shin chu choose burst skill and then two of his E so as to get him ready for the next rotation or else it does fall behind. Now with Fischl then you have to drop your Oz and if you don't have Oz and you have to use your burst skill that does take up quite a lot of time. The good thing is Xing Chu's burst duration along with Albedo's elemental skill duration are some of the most consistent in the game duration for 15 seconds and I'll Beto is 30 seconds people look it's really easy to use these characters and I, I i don't understand why albedo is not held in higher regards you can see his talents are also at level six all these characters are not leveled up right they're all stuck at ascension four but the damage is consistent it's a powerful comp that anybody can pick up and play there's no complexity it's not like poco Komon, poco there's no sequence of skill usage you're not going to screw up your team just because you use Fischl's burst before Xingqiu's burst or you use Zhongli's burst after Albedo's E and with this team you supercharge very quickly everybody's burst is up all the time Zhongli running the Favonius Lance as well is going to facilitate even more energy regen for everybody so you almost never have an issue of cycling through your burst skill this is a high utility high damage high consistency and relatively cheap team like I said Zhongli doesn't have to be in this team the only only three characters you need official Xingqiu which arguably is free to play friendly and Albedo is going to be the biggest thing that holds people back from being able to run this team because you know people people be skipping out on your boy but understand that if you pick up Albedo as a relatively low spender free to play player this team can crush through abyss and it's just as relevant now in patch 2.5 as it was back in 1.3 when Albedo first came out i'm gonna say this people this is likely going to be a timeless comp you can always fall back to this comp i relied on it heavily back when it first came out i'm so happy to be able to share this with you guys and for all the newer people asking me in dms for advice this is gonna be it honestly if you have albedo bless you if you don't have albedo i'll try to think of something else but this is definitely one team everybody at one point in your genshin career should give a try it's so much fun and it's so easy the only thing is probably get an ice pack ready for your for your index finger because you're going to be left clicking a lot and i mean a lot all right guys thank you for watching this video please share in the comments below what's your favorite comp what's your comfort comp that's relatively free to play friendly and that you can can always fall back to and know it's going to help you carry through difficult content with that said the keyword for today is drop drop and until next time urge you to stay safe and peace peace